For over 1500 years, India was the only known source of diamonds in the world. In fact, a majority of some of the most famous and historic diamonds such as the Kohinoor, the Orlov and the Hope are all from India. And yet, even today, we don't know where these mines are. I am Akshay Chavan and I am going to tell you the story of the lost diamond mines of India. Kohinoor is perhaps the most famous diamond in the world. Stuff of legends, it was coveted by kings and commoners alike. Kohinoor, along with other world famous diamonds such as the Orlov, the Daryainur, and the Hope, are among the biggest and the most famous diamonds in the world. All of them have one thing in common they all came from India. Till the 18th century, India was the only known source of diamonds in the world. But what is ironic is that even today, we don't know where these mines are located. The earliest references to diamonds in India date back to the Arthashastra written in the 2nd century BCE, which refers to the diamonds found in Kosala or Eastern Odisha. These were the diamonds found in the alluvial deposits of the Mahanadi River which the local tribes used to extract from the riverbed and sell it to the traders. These diamonds found in eastern Odisha were exported as far as Rome and even finds mention in the first century Roman geographer Claudius Ptolemy's book Geographia. In 1953, a dam was built over the Mahanadi River at the very spot where these diamonds were found and it still retains the name Hirakud or the Island of Diamonds. But from the 12th century onwards, these diamonds were eclipsed by those found in the bed of another great Indian river, Krishna, that flowed through Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. It was the diamonds found in the riverbeds of the Krishna River which became world famous as the Golconda diamonds, getting its name from the Qutub Shahi Sultanate of Golconda which ruled the region. The Kohinoor, the Daryainur, Nasak, Hope, Orlov and practically every famous diamond in the medieval world was from the Golconda mines. Such was the allure of the Golconda diamonds that when diamond mines were found in the Minas Gerais region of Brazil in the 18th century, no one in Europe wanted to buy the Brazilian diamonds. So they simply resolved the issue by renaming their mine Golconda, a name which it retains to this day. But despite attracting diamond traders from around the world, the exact location of the Golconda diamond mines were a closely held secret. As a result, the most fantastical legends grew around it, the most famous being that they were found in a valley deep within Telangana's Nalmala forest said to be inhabited by giant serpents. It was said that the traders would throw meat into these valleys and giant eagles would pick up these pieces of meat with diamonds sticking to it. As you can see here, this fantastical tale also became a part of the adventures of Sindhbad the sailor. But just like Odisha, the Golconda mines too were diamonds found in the alluvial soil washed down by the Krishna river. So therein lies the mystery, where are the original mines? The diamond mines around the world are found in what are known as kimberlite pipes. Millions of years ago, the magma from the core of the earth rose rapidly to the surface. In the process, they pushed the diamonds and other gemstones formed deep within the earth's mantle towards the surface in a pipe-like formation. The commercial mining of the diamonds happens in these pipes. The Kimberley diamond mines in South Africa or the Udachini diamond mines in Siberia are all located on the Kimberlite pipes. But no such Kimberlite pipes have been found either in Telangana, Chhattisgarh or Odisha which might have been the original source of the diamonds washed down by the rivers. In fact, the only Kimberlite pipes from which diamonds are extracted even today are the famed Panna diamond mines in Madhya Pradesh. So the question remains, deep within central India, are there still great mines filled with diamonds waiting to be discovered 